until it changed gears. Alright y'all, in this episode, we're going to tell this 66 Mustang, it's time to get out of the family graveyard. So we're going to do that right... <laughs> so let me let you in on a secret of YouTube. When you hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free to you, but it immensely blesses me. All right, I wanna welcome you again to another episode here on Restoration, and I guess I can start out, you may be on the Restoration channel if you actually look behind uh, whoever's on the show and actually see a car that's covered up in trees. Yep, you're at the right channel. Today we're gonna be working on the Mustang, but we actually come over and looked at this old Granada uh i would say it's there's the old man 77 77 granada four-door i think it's got either a 289 or a 302 i think 302s came in it but they said they put a 289 excuse me a 289 in it um so we're gonna see uh later on we'll probably do a first start on this old rig and see if uh see if we can get it going but today uh, we're going to be working on the mustang we're going to do part two will she move from her grave and we know that she will today we'll get over there in just a minute and begin uh working on that old rig uh, but my name is david i go by rev here on youtube if you're not subbed to the channel do so we got a lot of crazy content like this getting these old girls uh up and on the road again uh and we have a great time with it so if y'all enjoy this type of content uh, hit that sub button hit that notification bell like do all of those things it would be a great blessing to us we appreciate you and we're gonna go get a 66 mustang moving all right a few things that the old girls needed if you saw the last episode if you have not saw this series maybe you'd want to go back there's going to be uh there's going to be a thing here that's going to have all of the series of this 66 mustang but you'll see the last time we got uh we thought these tires would hold air but as you can see they do not but we did get the transmission turning so we know that we know that it'll move uh so the old man went and got him a set of uh used tires got him a set of uh four lug just standard ford steel wheels um just pretty proud right yeah, got me a set of hook cows. He got new locking nut, uh, lug nuts. Do you have Ooh, the, the tool to, you have the tool yeah. to tighten it down? Oh yeah, it come with it. Oh, oh boy, look at him. Woo. Lock these babies on there. Them things are precious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody, you ain't got to worry about nobody stealing them. So we're going to hope these hold air. Uh, look at there. Boy, you going mudding, ain't you? Yeah, got a gripper on that. <laughs> he come off a 65. I saw him taking them off. You're going to get that one out the hole, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's got it going back ain't it? <laughs> all right so we uh so we're gonna get to it we got a fuel pump uh there's there's all of that oh uh, there's my jack i was looking for um i want to show you a quick clip now uh earlier this week i was given the opportunity i talked to a cat on facebook i know this happens to y'all if you like old rigs uh 1960 ford falcon look good in the pictures uh it ran when parked you ever heard that just bring gas and a battery yeah that was one too and i went and i mean every wheel was locked up every uh one well i say i think every wheel was locked up there was one wheel that was rusted and the rust was perfectly on the bottom probably hadn't turned in a long time and uh the motor was locked up as tight as it could be had rust all throughout the pictures look good uh, but it must have been taken when it was raining. So uh, so I passed on that rig. But I'll show you a few clips now of me actually going and getting that. Then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to get to work on this old Mustang. All right, y'all. Y'all see it up there? Hey, how's it going? 
Yes, sir, that's me. All right, y'all, here's the motor. Of course, we've got uh, the little uh, inline six, 200. We put this carburetor on it and it only holds that much. It only holds this much gas, so not much at all. So we need a fuel pump that'll work. We know the tank is not good, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking this fuel pump off, putting another one on. So the old man's gonna break this line now. So uh, you gonna get the line off? I hope so. Daddy, everybody uh, had had a fellow commenting the other day. He said it seems like the old man is the only one that works. Oh, heck, that's the way it's supposed to be, ain't it? Do you think that's true? I don't think most cameramen work either, you know? <laughs> they just sit there and push a button. Yeah, just make it go ding, ding, ding. You cold, you shaking. Or is no, that just being just, old? Just uh, on, on camera, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let me hold this right here. You going to... Tight in it. Yes. Yeah, you need to get some old JB Weld and hit it on there. Because you ain't even turned JB Weld? That a JB weld, weld it on. I mean, You're talking about some, uh, yeah, some lubricant. Mm -hmm. I sprayed it the other day. so It ain't turning but, though, is it? No. Hold that back. Uh, you can hold that in the camera. I don't think I really broke it loose yet. Uh, just ring it off, right? Yo, you are. Don't ring it off. You done did it now. Just ring it off. That means the line ain't no good no way. Well, well, there goes our shot at uh, there goes our shot at getting it going. Uh oh, we ain't got no line. No All right, line we're letting anyway. the old man uh hold on. One. We'll we'll be back after the old man tears that up. Look what you do when you get all running <laughs> fast. I mean, he just turned that thing. You reckon that'll pump any gas? Mm. You reckon there'll be any gas that'll pump through that? No, it's supposed to rain today. We ain't got time to fool yeah, around. We ain't playing, are we? Uh -oh. Get all that. All right, so we got some work to do there. Uh, we're gonna get the old uh, old pump off now. I was gonna do that, but you got it. I hope. Is it half inch? Yeah, it's half inch, but can't get no extension in it for the fender. For the, for that uh, little tire wall, whatever you call it. You gotta push the button. Oh, you got one of them bands going, that. Ah, he's got it loose, folks. And, and my... then dropped it. Come on, now. Tell you what, I heard a story one time as an old man I worked with, worked at a metal shop. And, uh, of course, I was a young man, even younger than I am now. I'm 40. And uh, this, this fellow at this time was probably 50, 55 years old. And uh, he told me, he said, y'all young man, he said, y'all run down the hill and grab one and run back. He said, we old men, said we're gonna walk slow down the hill, we're gonna grab every one of them and walk slow right back. And uh, is that true, old man? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You see, I'm unscrewing it with my finger, don't you, instead of the ratchet. All right, he's got he one. Got now, let me, get, let me get the other one, which is the hard one. Are you uh, gonna get it? Yeah, yeah. All right, he's going at it. You done talk bad on me now. Talk bad. All right, y'all, when he gets his fuel pump off, we're gonna reinstall the new fuel pump. We're gonna try to see if we can come up with a uh, uh, some way of delivering fuel to the carburetor. Then I we're gonna get, new, uh, what's that? Yeah, I bought a new gas tank. We ain't got nothing to put that on today. Oh, you done got a gas tank? Yes, sir. My goodness. No, I don't play around. You got a new gas tank? Got what else you buy? I bought uh, a new, uh, the fuel pump, of course, this week, and bought my tires and hubcaps this week, and lug nuts this week. Fuel pump, tires, some, hubs, caps. Bought me some chrome for the thing. Bought me a new Mustang emblem that goes in the grill, the whole thing. I got two, new two bumpers. I got two bumpers, both bumpers. Yeah, you buy when you find them. They're used, but they look like brand new ones. You know, some people think they, if you got one little scratch on them, they got to have a new one. Well, you ain't got to have a new one, do you? Not this time. <laughs> that ain't got no one scratch on it. It's one scratch. All right. That's being mean, ain't it? I like this old Mustang. Oh, Lord. That thing's oh, on there, ain't it? It was on there tight. 
Ooh, Mine don't, the new one don't look like that. I just wonder how they ever changed the fuel filter without running, blowing gas. Oh, getting every everywhere. time you took it off, you know, gas run off over it. Yep. That's the old one. Got a new one. Look at that. We need to get a scrape, scrape that off for the new gasket. All right, that's where she goes. All right, y'all, so we're going to get to that. Never doubt yourself. Never doubt yourself. <clears throat> you got it started? Oh, yeah, it's in there. I'm just getting it tight. I wonder how many horsepower to put on it. Much, much on it. Uh, whoo. All right. New fuel pump installed. So now we got to, this is the end. So we got to run our fuel into that and we got to run our line out of this. Look at there. That's uh, threaded. So uh, this one will go in it. Watch out. They have a burn. You got that it'll boogered up. Through. It'll blow through. <gasps> Don't put that cut in in your mouth. I ain't putting no cut in in my mouth. All right, so there there's that. Point. Now we got to run a, our gas line. Well, that's ugly, did it? And you say my Mustang's not? <laughs> you boogered that up. All right, I think some of y'all have pointed out that those of you that have been watching our channel for a while, and man, we really appreciate that. I know the old man appreciate you watching it i know nikki t appreciates you watching it and i know i do um but y'all pointed out to us there's sometimes we do things the hard way that there's a lot of easier ways to do certain things that we do and when we go back and watch the footage we figure that out as well um one of the things everybody's pointed out to us is uh four ways and yeah that's all we got is a four way to get the lugs off everybody says why don't you buy uh, you know, go in together and get one of those electrical impacts. I'm hoping Santa brings me one. Uh, but if he doesn't, that's okay. We can figure it out. Another one is right here. It's just hard to get the old screwdriver. Uh, let me pull it back so you can see. It's hard to get the old screwdriver in to get that done. And the old man could do it. But guess what, y'all? They make these things called ratchets. And boy, you can put that thing on there. Look at there. Look how easy that is. It just tightens it right on down. I mean, ain't nothing. Just one little old wrist action. I can video it and tighten it all. What you think, Daddy? Uh, when I was in school, they didn't have nothing but a slot and a round. You didn't have them little, little uh, where you could put a ratchet on. Goodness, look at all them technological. And, and they also fold out where your screwdriver wouldn't pop off because they were made up in there like a Phillip head is now. But anyway, old school like me old school like him <laughs> you know what what he just said all those technological advances are good and i'm grateful for it too all right y'all we're gonna finish this up probably the hard way all right y'all we told y'all a minute ago that the old man had bought a uh you pulling your britches up <laughs> yeah i tried to pull them up sure. <laughs> you didn't have to have that on camera yeah it's on camera all right he uh he said he bought him a gas tank show him your gas tank there you go <laughs> it ain't quite a white lightning jug, but it'll work. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's get all that old. Look at there. That'll mess up the old fuel tank right there. You need to sip on that and get all the rest of that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. We, uh, you, you want to try it? One-hander. Oh, oh, it does go in the hole. Look at there. Perfect. Now right, you got to push your button now. I'm trying. You ain't letting enough air get out. You gonna get it all over your hand? Mama's gonna fuss at you. Anything new? <laughs> Not really. Well, she, even... gonna, she loves to watch our video. It still ain't coming out. There it comes. Wasn't pushing it hard enough. Fill it up now. We wanna we wanna make sure it pumps. So we gotta get it up. Gotta get a full tank of gas. 
all my friends back in Canada, that's about a one liter, one liter gas tank. Uh, old car guy, I don't know if y'all are uh, friends with his channel. He's uh, challenged me to a race, or we're racing a friendly race to 10,000 subs. Uh, I got a little bit of a head start on him, but if y'all are not a uh, sub to old car guy, uh, Jason Carr, he's a neat guy, fun guy. He's not a mushroom, but he is a fun guy. You hear that, Daddy? That was a good dad joke. Yeah, I didn't laugh. I <laughs> didn't laugh. All right, y'all, we're going to tie our gas tank up, and uh, that's like a, a bomb. But we're going <laughs> to tie our gas tank up and uh, see if we can get this old girl to crank. We're finally putting uh, coolant in the radiator. So the old man, let's see how many... <laughs> What in the it world? It says antifreeze. What color is it? Is that cheap Walmart brand? Ain't it? That cheap Walmart brand. That ain't oil, is it? <laughs> you don't think, you don't think concentrated, Walmart Concentrated. I hope they don't have concentrated oil. But they might have filled it up with oil instead of antifreeze in the jug. But that does say lie. Antifreeze. Smell it. Just barely stick your tongue to it. Daddy. You... <laughs> That's old. It says antifreeze. That ain't new. That ain't a new one. Did you bust a seal on that? No. <laughs> That's old. I just bought it. Oh, well. Is this the top you just took off? Yeah, I guess I got the wrong <laughs> jug, huh? <laughs> you just put oil in the antifreeze. Guess what? We got to drain that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, Where that was you? not made for YouTube there. It won't hurt. It'll. It'll. Uh, oh, wonder... No, we ain't gonna put the antifreeze in. No, I'm just saying. What if that'll that'll help the antifreeze move through the motor no. easier? <laughs> I don't think so. That was oil. It was oil, wasn't it? Well, we're gonna drain it. Oh my goodness. Well, good we didn't crank it. Out. They wouldn't have done nothing. <laughs> How did new oil get in a gallon jug? That doesn't like new oil. That's oil. Is that all? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. How'd oil get in that? That's new oil too. Daddy, get the antifreeze. All right, y'all, the old man wanted me to make sure I showed you that these were the same. And I did, I don't know. How did the I top is different. Let's see if you busted the seal. I don't think you busted the seal. All right. Now, this is bust. sealed. Hold on. All right. We just busted the seal. Is it oil or antifreeze? Same thing. That's oil. That's oil. Them rascals. It says concentrated antifreeze coolant. You think it's... It does taste funny. It don't <laughs> taste like oil, but it does taste like antifreeze. Is it antifreeze? Well, I just, I don't know. It don't make no sense, but that is. Don't pour it on the car. That's old. Is that old? I don't know how old it tastes, but it <laughs> does taste like antifreeze. All right, so that's antifreeze, so it ain't old. It's thick. Know. It's concentrated, all right. <laughs> but concentrated would mean it'd be thinner. If that's oil, it come from Walmart. I just bought it last week. And you saw me break the seal. It don't pour like, uh, I don't pour like antifreeze. Where's a, where's another? Give me that water bottle and we'll mix it with water and see if it, that's water. Let's see if it mixes with water. If it mixes with water, that's just a Walmart cheapo you don't got no color to it folks that is we just wasted a bunch of antifreeze because <laughs> there ain't no oil coming to the top it's mixing so it's not oil that's antifreeze but i ain't never seen no white antifreeze <laughs> we apologize to walmart if you ever want to sponsor restoration we know that them waltons have uh have boatload of money uh so we like y'all's stuff y'all's uh y'all's antifreeze is so awesome it, it has Viscosity like oil. That's a big word for the day. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to fill her up.
just thing to run right so we gotta we gotta drop a little mountain dew in it that thing's gonna run good uh, <laughs> My lord, that old girl wants to run. Well, you ain't turned it over enough. Oh, yeah, she's pumping. That, that is a rusted freeze plug so leaky freeze plug there because i think it's dripping yep it's dripping more we're seeing it so we got a uh, freeze plug we need to replace um so now now we're going to uh get all these new epically awesome wheels and tires installed and we're hoping this old baby will move you know, Daddy, it may have been that Mountain Dew got in there, and it just, that Mountain Dew blew that plug. Couldn't handle it. I told you not to. Do it. Yep, that doggone Mountain Dew did it. Mountain Dew is just too much for it. We just can't let them wheels stand like that. It just don't look right on the car without hubcaps. Are you ready for your hubcap? May as well. Here you go. Catch it. Show it. Show it. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Woo! It says Mustang. It says Mustang. All right, y'all, we're putting it on. Look at there. Whoop. You got to get the... Make sure that, that bow stem's a little short. All right, and you got to back it off. Back off of it. Whew. Look at there, y'all. Oh, boy. That Mustang is coming along now. Look at it. It already looks fast. Now you can't see my chrome lug nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, anytime you see uh, work being done without it being filmed, it's because Rev did it. Uh, there was one wheel that was hard to get off, and the old man gave it to me. We're going to show you what she looks like. Look at her there. I tell you, hubcaps, new wheels, new tires, new-ish tires. There's one back behind that tree. But I think we need to clean her off before she runs down the road. So uh, we're going to get a run in here in just a little bit, get some cameras turned on. And this old baby girl, what you think, old man? Is she going to pull out of her grave? I hope so. I hope this old girl is going to pull out of her grave. We're going to get this pony out of its corral, is what the old man just said. Did you move the Mountain Dew? Did you want the Mountain Dew on? Uh, I don't know. We're good. All right, y'all. We're going to move the pony from its corral. We're going to get all our cameras going. I think I didn't plug the battery. No, I put it back up. I plugged it back up. I did. The hood's latched. I know. I can take, get it out. All right, y'all. Here he is. Will it crank? I'm going to get on. After you get it cranked up, I'm going to get on this side and watch. How long has the battery been hooked up? Not for a second. For a switch behind. Listen to that old girl. Listen to her run. Oh, she was coming. All right. She ain't got enough power. She ain't got enough power to get out of the hole. Uh, what's that smoking? <laughs> what is it smoking, old man? I'm going to pull it out. All right. Well, I'm going to get on this corner and watch where you don't swipe side swipe that tree. No, oh, you ain't got to worry about that. All right, will she pull out of her grave? Oh, no. All right, folks, take number two. Back up, back up. Back it up. There go 
forward. What are you doing? Something wrong. What, it ain't turning? Well, it ain't got enough power. There it is. I tried to uh, get the old throttle piece to work. And uh, what happened is uh, I went on and gave it some onions. And when I put that uh, size 12 horsepower shoe in it, it went on and kicked the rest of that. Uh, I think we have freeze confirmed plug. that our freeze plug is no good. <laughs> so uh, that ain't going to work. That little Jerry rig there, no offense to Jerry, ain't going to cut it. I think we've got that part figured out. We've got this is loose. Um, I don't know if that vacuum shouldn't have anything to do with the getting it out. This wheel here. This is stuck. They need me to push. I think your biggest issue is your one wheel. That ain't, I mean, you ain't even, it ain't pushing that. Thank you. If, uh... I think your biggest issue is that in the back. So look, you go back and I'm going to add you more boards. You stuck on nothing up under there, do you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> ain't no telling. Oh, Lord. Hold on. All right, this is going to be take number four. Right here is the only tire spinning, right? Yes. So what I want you to do is go in reverse. Go in reverse, and I'm going to throw another piece of wood. When you back up, I can slide wood further because you are going down into that hole. And when you go down into that hole, it's going to be that much harder to get out. So you want me to back it up, hold and it? Hold it, and I'm going to jam some of this wood under it. Yeah. You don't think you can push that on it enough to... Get it I'm out. Pulling front tires out of the hole. What we got to get? I think you're out the hole. All right, get in it. Back her up. All right, if this don't work, we're gonna put some wood under the front tires. That ain't gonna work either. You're ah. just gonna make it. You're jacking it up even further. You ready? Yep. Go in reverse. Running. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can see the front of the shot. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean the front of the shot? Oh yeah. Look at that thing smoking, boy. It's still uh look at that thing. Look Ooh. at the old man, he's happy. All right, y'all, we were going to uh, close out the video, and the old man said, well, hey, let me show you what all I got. And I said, well, let's film it. Some of y'all asked what uh, what the old man was going to be doing, and I think he's working on getting it getting it at least back on the road. So uh, you, you want to go through? You ain't got to pull them all out. These are the lens that go in here, of course, for the, for the front. All they're right. not new, but they're better than the ones I got on it. All right, so he's upcycling his lights. He's got four lights. I Here's did. the emblem that goes on the front. There's your pony. I don't know where. I don't know where the short ones go. Short ones must go on the front. No, the no, the front ones. The long ones go on the front. The long ones are the front. The short ones are on the back because because it's uh, shorter. Shorter. All right, so we got got those uh, those pieces. Got, of course, his door handles and all that type of stuff. Got, got his front and his back bumper. The back bumper looks, uh, well, that back bumper's pretty slick. I mean, that's too shiny. Yeah, that ain't gonna match his car, is it? <laughs> the front bumper, I give $10 for it. Just got one little scratch right here. That ain't bad. But not bad at all for 10 bucks, for me anyway. 
He's got him a new sending unit. Looks like a new sending unit. Yeah, that's Is that a brand new? new sending unit in the gas tank. Oh, let me get the gas tank. All right, we got that. Uh, I actually picked these up, but these are for 14s. Uh, wrong size of what we would need it for. And then his newish newish gas tank. Newish gas tank. <laughs> So, all right, y'all, in the, in the next video, we've got to, uh, we already showed those yeah, off. In the next video, what do we got to do, old man? Well, we're going to put the gas tank in it and uh, might get brakes and put the brake shoes and all on it. I don't know if we'll uh, film all that. I got one cracked lens over here, if I can find one of them. Yeah. But uh, it needs a good cleaning. And this little corner piece here, I think, is cracked right here. Look like it's been in just a little bit. I might need to buy one of those. Original, but not now. But had a little bondo here. Got a and it looks like it's creased on the inside a little bit. So gotta do a little work on the body, but Yep. But if I could just get a primer job on it, I'd be happy. With a spray can. <laughs> I'd be happy. Oh right man, now. you know why I don't trust stairs? They're always up to something. <laughs> I had to get a dad joke in. Yeah. Don't want to go upstairs in my, my attic. You remember all your toys we put up in the attic? Oh, yeah. I broke the house after we moved off for 28 years and stole your wrestling. You remember the little rubber wrestling me and you had? Could have sold them on eBay. They all gone. All right, y'all. This time, I think we're done. We appreciate y'all watching part two of getting this pony from her corral. She has uh, driven from her grave, so we'll see you on the next one. We know no way. Look at there. He's so excited about his uh, little uh, corner glass there, his little vent. Uh, but we appreciate y'all watching. We thank you so very much. We know no way of closing out any of these videos and saying deuces. May God bless.